Fox PVC put out the official poster for the Errol Spence versus Manny Pacquiao fight. And I noticed under their names it says Unified World Championship. So you got to ask yourself, well, how is this a unified fight? Um, Errol Spence has an IBF. He has the WBC. Pacquiao is beltless. So right when I read that, I automatically knew what was about to happen. Jordanis Ugas is likely going to get his belt taken away. And they're going to give the belt back to Manny Pacquiao. So Errol can fight for the WBA strap. That's what's going to happen. Damn, I kind of feel... Well, Ugas didn't earn that WBA belt. So I don't really feel bad for him. It's not like he he earned it in a fight or anything like that. But I mean... It would have changed his life, though. You know, if he was able, if he would have had the belt and ended up fighting Errol Spence, he would have had a nice, probably his biggest payday ever. But shit, man, that's kind of like his fault, though, bro. Because he should have went ahead. I don't know if his team should have went ahead and pushed for the Errol fight instead of trying to be greedy. But who knows, man? They probably would have still forced that belt to go back to Pacquiao if Pacquiao and Errol would have, you know, wanted it. As if you already see right now. That's probably what's exactly what's about to happen because it says it's a unified championship fight. How can you have a unified fight if only one one fighter has the belt and the other doesn't? So that's telling me that Pacquiao is about to be the WBA champion again. So we look like, I mean, on, on the surface, man, if this is the truth, if this, if this is the case, then that would mean if Errol Spence wins, we should be a step closer to the Terrence Crawford fight. Unless Terrence Crawford is still on that, I don't care if it's 50-50, I ain't fighting bullshit. Or if Arrow start being on some shit where, okay, 80-20 and all this dumb shit. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. But right here is proof that they are fighting for the WBA. That's what it says right here. Unified. Can't feel can't really feel sorry for Ugas, you know, but on the flip note, you know, um, he had a family he got to take care of, man. And I guess he, he was feeling really good about having that WBA belt, even though he didn't earn it. He still was the champ, though. They gave it to him. So, you know, you, you kind of could feel a little ways about it because how do you take it back from Ugas, even though he didn't earn it, but you gave it to him. And you took it from somebody that wasn't defending his title. So if somebody's not defending a title, how do they deserve the belt back? It's crazy, man. It's just, it's, boxing is a weird thing sometimes, man. But anyway, let me know what you think, man. Get back to me. Like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later on the next one. Peace.